What really makes us unique is the fact that we planted and proved to all the skeptics that European varietals of grapes, really the grapes that are known for making the best wines of the world, not only could survive here, but produce wines that are on a world-class level. We are truly a complete winemaking operation. We grow the grapes, we make the wine here, we bottle the wine on site. So we are really a complete winery as anyone would know it. So my father uh, decided against all odds that he would move us north in 1974 from Detroit and start a winery where none existed. And not only where none existed, where none thought could even exist. The climate of Old Mission Peninsula in Northern Michigan, by all expert standards, is an impossible area to grow grapes. It gets too cold, the climate's too harsh, the growing season isn't long enough, but for some reason, it works. And, and a lot of the reason it works is because of the incredible amount of water that surrounds this area that greatly tempers the area. Our keynote wine that we make here that people know us about is Riesling, and Riesling is traditionally from Germany, and our style and our climate is somewhat Germanic here, so we get those really crisp, flavorful, fruity, explosive sort of wines. I think there's a real misconception about Riesling and the fact that everybody always believes it needs to be sweet or it is sweet is completely wrong. Some of the best Rieslings made are bone dry. And when I mean dry, that means no sugar. It almost makes you feel like you just brushed your teeth when you drink them. But those are the wines that cut through fats and cheeses and, and makes your mouth clean and really matches up well with those types of foods. One of the things that I really like to stress about our operation is, is the authenticity of what we do. I don't know if we're old fashioned or traditional, but we grow grapes, make wine and sell wine. So when people come to our winery in 15, 20 minutes on a tour, you can go, my gosh, I just experienced the whole winemaking process from an explanation of why and how we grow grapes here to seeing the tanks and an explanation of fermentation and how we bottle. And so when you go into our wine tasting room after, again, a 20 minute tour, you're educated. And then to match that up with a, a tasting where you can sample some wines and talk with somebody, you walk out of here in an hour probably knowing more than 80% of the people out there. So you can either come here and learn experience, go on a winery tour and get an in-depth experience, or basically just chill on the back patio and have a glass of wine. It's really your choice and how you wish to enjoy it.